I used to resize graphics like this, which as you can see isn't ideal. A better way is to use tools like Direct Select, Scale and Rotate. And this is what I did for years. And yes, this does work, but it is slow and very inefficient, especially if you've got more than one graphic. However, what you're going to learn in the next four minutes will change the way you design with Illustrator forever. And this technique will save you many, many hours and make your life so much easier. So here's the pencil, but you can of course do this with any graphic. First go to Window and open up the Brushes panel. Next rotate your design holding Shift so it snaps to 90 degrees and your design is oriented horizontally. And it has to be horizontal, just, just trust me. Now select the entire design and drag this into the Brushes panel. And you can now select the new brush type. Let's go for Art Brush, clickety click, there we go, and then select OK. Now we have lots of settings. First let's give our brush a name, we'll go with Mr McPencil Brush. There we go, lovely. Now set the scale options to stretch between guides. And if we adjust the start and end values, you can see these guides now moving across the design. And you can also select and move the guides manually, which is a little bit quicker. And what we're doing here is defining the unique start point and end point for this design. And for this to work effectively, if we block out those end points, everything in this middle section needs to be able to stretch horizontally without the design looking rubbish. So now that's done, let's click OK. And because we've created the brush, we can delete this graphic. And now let's go and select the paintbrush tool. And let's also make sure that Mr. McPencil brush is selected. Sorry, that was a stupid name. And now using the brush tool, we can click and drag in any direction to draw pencils. So let's draw a longer one, perhaps a wiggly one. Or we can hold shift, click and drag to draw one perfectly horizontal. And holding shift also works vertically too. And yeah, that's pretty cool. But there is something else that makes this technique especially awesome. So let's go and select one of these chunkier pencils. And then we can go over here and adjust the stroke weight. And because we're working with a brush, it makes it super easy to change the thickness of a graphic. And trying to make the pencil thinner or a bit chunkier manually would just take so much longer. Oh, that is a chunky one. And you can also adjust the stroke holding command or control to move in even smaller increments. Now, if you'd like to make changes to the brush, simply double click it and the settings window pops up again. And let's go ahead and close down the brushes panel. But wait, there's more. This time, let's draw a circle and then open up the brushes panel again because some idiot closed it down. And with the circle selected, click to apply Mr. McPencil brush. And you can see we now have a circular pencil. We can also go and select the scissors tool. And then we can click anywhere on the circle's path to make a cut. Next, select the Direct Selection tool and drag over this segment here. You'll see it becomes selected and we can now delete it. We can also remove the top anchor point and now we have a semicircular pencil, which is very strange indeed. And it's not just circles, we can also use other shapes. Let's also try it with a four-sided shape that some people call a square. Click to apply the brush. And if we switch to the Direct Selection tool, we can click on these corner widgets and round off the corners. And as you can see, this brush bends round corners beautifully all in real time. And just like before, we can remove segments as well. And we can also add this effect to text. So I've added some text. Let's scale this up nice and big. And to keep things simple, let's convert the text to outlines. So it's basically a regular shape. And then swap that black fill to a black stroke. And then let's apply that brush. This could look pretty interesting. And it definitely does, but not great. So let's go and reduce that stroke. And we can now start to make sense of this complete and utter mess. And there we go, the word pencil made out of pencils. How ironic. Okay, one more. For this one, select the pen tool. And then I'm going to click a bunch of times on screen to draw the outline of a pencil. And you can probably see where this is going. Now I've created the shape, I'm going to apply the brush. And you can see here I've been playing around and I have this set to dashed line, which is great if you want lots of pencils or you can turn it off and have just one. But if you have lots of pencils, you can adjust the dash value to control the length of each one. And as you can see, I'm getting a bit carried away. And using the techniques we've covered so far, I can also remove a segment and then round off those corners at the very top. And if you'd like some more Adobe Illustrator goodness, well, I've got a video right here that is a must watch. So give that a click and I'll see you in a sec.